Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 238. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link. You can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 233 to 245. Hey, here we want to see how to round times. We have a bunch of times here. The first thing we want to do is round up, always up, to the five minute increment. So in this case, we're rounding to by a certain multiple or to a certain amount. So five minutes, we'll do round up. I mean, we're rounding up, but we're going to use the ceiling function. The number is this, comma, and what we'll do is in quotes, 0, 0 for 0 hours, colon, 0, 5 for 5 minutes, end double quote, close parentheses. And when I um, double click and send this down, you can see that it uh, is always rounding up to the nearest five minutes. So here we have two, two minutes and two seconds, so it rounds up to the five minute. 231 rounds up 230, rounds up 229, rounds uh, to the nearest five minutes. So it's all five minutes. That's rounding up. But what if you want to actually round? Well, here's we'll see two ways to do this, equals round. Here's the time, and um, we, we actually want to take this time and divide it by five minutes. Let's see how to do that. Ooh, so we put a division symbol and then double quote, 0, 0, colon, 0, 5, and double quote. Now that's kind of weird because uh, um, this is text right here when you have quotes like that. This is a very clever way of getting um, five minutes, right? But a word, in essence, because it's text divided by something, well, actually, it'll get converted to a number if you mul if you have text and you multiply it by one or divide by one. So the the fact that we're dividing here um, gets rid of this as text, and so this is a clever way to uh, divide divide by five minutes. Now I'm going to do comma, and we're going to round to the zero which is the integer. In essence, we're taking this thing and finding out how many five minute chunks there are in this by dividing by it. By uh, rounding to the zero, it will give us how many there are. Now, you, we can even see, if we highlight this and hit F9, you can see that that is a uh, 169.68. So um, there's our number of uh, five minute chunks, 169. I'm going to Control Z. Now, um, that's good and fine, but what do we need to do? We need to now get this back into the total number of five minute chunks. So, and by the way, the round function will do the rounding that we're after here. So we're going to take that whole result times, again, in quotes, 0, 0, colon, 0, 5. So what we've done is uh, divided it by five minutes, rounded, that gives us how many five minute that chunks of five minute time there are, and then we, again, multiply it by this five minute and it will get us what we want. Control or just enter and double click and send it down. You can see, sure enough, it did exactly what we want, but rounded. So here, this first one is rounding up. We, so we got five minutes, but two uh, minutes and 29 seconds if we're applying our rounding rules should be uh, rounded down to zero. So it's exactly two. Now let's see a little bit easier way to do this. Equals M round. If you have this function installed in earlier versions, you actually have to install it. And now um, tools menu, uh, add-ins, and then uh, analysis tool pack. It comes by default in 2007. So I'm going to click here, comma, and then in quotes, 00, zero colon 05, and double quote close parentheses and that M round will do the trick rounding to by specific amount the M round is different than round because it can uh, round to a specific amount and what's that amount five minutes alright that's a little bit about rounding time by the way um, these tricks are from uh, John Vander Hayden and Houdini at uh, the Mr. Excel message board totally awesome alright see you next trick